And one of the best things about online shopping may be no sales tax. But look closely at your state tax forms. Now the government may be asking you to fork over some money, and if you don't, well... The big news of the day now, two minutes away, but first, it's costing states somewhere in the neighborhood of $10 billion a year, or that's the estimate, unpaid sales tax from online shopping. Now the states want to collect, but will taxpayers play along? A Fox report from Jonathan Hunt. Many people think it's the best thing about shopping online. No sales tax added, but that perk is disappearing in many states. We've tried various ways to try to collect it over time. Right now, I suspect the push is driven as much by anything as the increased volume of sales over the Internet. Unpaid sales or use tax is thought to cost states around $10 billion annually. So now taxpayers in some 20 states, including New York and California, will find a new line on their tax forms, asking them to admit how much they spent online or out of state and to pay up. It's very complicated. Tax preparer Barbara Minningham thinks the attempt to enforce out of state state sales tax laws is unfair on individuals and accountants. As opposed to trying to just do a person's personal income tax, now they'd be collecting sales tax for the state. So you and become helping. the bad guy. We're the bad guy all along, right. But some anti-internet tax organizations say it's a simple cash grab by the states. And this is a whole new area that they can explore to raise money. I don't think they have any idea how much they can even raise from it. It's just it's a, it's a whole new area where they can go in and exploit. And states have won big before. Remember Tyco chief Dennis Kozlowski, who avoided a cool one million in state taxes by having paintings he'd bought shipped to one address and then moved to another. He got caught. But that was a big amount. The rest of us aren't such tempting targets. The average person is likely to owe something in the region of $30. State officials admit that for such small amounts, they're hardly likely to carry out audits for this tax alone. In other words, they're depending on our honesty. It's up to you. In New York, Jonathan Hunt, Fox News. From America's leading news network, this is the Fox Report.